everyone, it's Fjurström and this is a review of the Rolfstone Focus. It comes in this beautiful box and in it you'll find a Rolfstone branded leather hard case with a USB Type-C cable and of course the Rolfstone Focus itself. Now first of all the Rolfstone Focus is quite light, not cheaply light but not heavy either, especially for over-ear headphones, these headphones are quite light. And that's because they're made of plastic. It has a very nice glossy shine to it on top, and the rest is matte black. On the positive side, light headphones mean more comfort, and what add to the comfort are the cushions. The cushions on top and here on the side. And the cushions here on the ears just make it super comfortable to wear this for a longer period. And seriously, these are very comfortable. Just like with most headphones, these are adjustable. So you have these arms here that are extendable. What else do we have? We have, of course, these, the cushion of the, the ear cups themselves. I mean, they are twistable. So you can twist them, you can make the whole thing flat. You can make it smaller. You could, um, you could slide it into your backpack like this. Or you could, of course, use the, the leather hard case that I showed earlier. What you can also do is you can flip them sideways. Put them in your backpack like this. And um, yeah, it's a very compact thing to bring everywhere. Now, let's have a closer look. There's a vent in each ear cup, four microphones, and two buttons on the right ear cup. The one at the bottom controls the different modes. You have active noise cancellation on, noise cancellation on, off, noise cancellation off, or ambient mode, ambient normal. With ambient mode, you can hear the sounds around you thanks to the microphones, which is useful if you decide to go running or biking with them. Double pressing the same button summons Siri or Google Assistant, and long pressing it disconnects your device so you can easily switch to another. And then on the inside we still have the power button. The pairing process is easy, just long press and tap on Rollstone Focus to connect. Once paired, it just takes 3 to 4 seconds for it to connect to my iPad, for example. Now these headphones have touch controls on the right side. So if you put it on, you have this flat surface over here. If you double tap, it will play and pause the music. Now you don't have to like hit it very hard, just a very slight tap even will play the music. Swiping up and swiping down will turn the volume up and down. Then we have swiping forward, which will skip a track, and swipe backward will replay the track. And here we are at the most important part of the video, which is the sound quality. How is the sound quality actually of this Rollstone Focus? Now, first of all, this part is my own opinion. My sound preference might be different from yours. So I just wanna get that out first, but I'll try my best to describe the sound or describe the quality that I experience. Now, the Focus isn't the only product from Rolfstone. They also make in-ear headphones, such as the Neo, which I reviewed back in 2019. I'll just link it up there if you want. Now, that one has extra bass, and some people really love the extra bass in their headphones. Personally, I want a balance between bass and treble, that I can hear the vocals and also have bass. And the Focus has that. The Focus has a balance between both, which I love. And it's not that the bass is too light, in my opinion, the bass is there. And you also have the vocals. Now the vocals are just, seriously, they're crisp. I can listen to my favorite music that I always do with my AirPods, but with my focus, it's like the, the singer is just singing into my ear. And I can also distinguish the instruments here and there. Of course, it's quite logical that you have that experience with an over-ear headphone. I just realized it now, after all these years. Uh, compared to in-ear headphones, that's that's quite normal. Okay, there are crisp vocals and you have a bass, not a heavy bass, but a bass. And just in case you want to increase the bass or something, you could always try, try it out with the equalizer. If you have Apple Music or Spotify, you can change the equalizer settings there and choose maybe more bass, just in case you want that. But it won't give you like a heavy bass boost, like or at least for me it doesn't, um, unlike some other headphones, but it's something that I don't want either. So for me personally, this is good. Will this replace my on-ear headphones that I had for the past years? Definitely. These are good headphones for working at home, for having them on your head for a longer period of time. Next question, are they better than the AirPods Pro? Because I'm so positive about them. Now the AirPods Pro and the Focus are just two different types of devices. 
I've been listening to music, different types of music, switching headphones constantly, writing my review, rewriting my review, and it's just hard to tell. Now, there is clearly a difference in sound experience. Uh, that's, I think, very obvious just because they are different, small versus large. Um, but purely sound quality-wise, I wouldn't say that either one of them is superior, but that's just, just really hard to tell. Now, when it comes to active noise cancellation, the Rolestone Focus works fine with constant noises, just like a fan that is blowing in your environment. It might not block out all sounds, or it might not block out the sounds entirely, but it will fade them out, so once you play music, they're gone. Keep in mind that just like with any noise cancelling headphones, sudden noises or noises at higher frequencies or construction work uh, or a bus passing, you will still hear them. Those won't be entirely blocked out. They will be faint or faded out a bit, uh, but they won't be as harsh as if you'd not be wearing them at all. So the active noise cancellation on the Focus does its job and works fine. Now, the biggest selling feature of the Rolfstone Focus, which I'm strange enough keeping as the last thing to discuss today, is the battery life. 70 hours. It has 70 hours of battery life when active noise cancellation is turned on even. So that's huge. That's a, we can really listen to music very long or watch movies for a very long period. And if you even turn off active noise cancellation, you have a battery life up to 100 hours. That is massive. If compared to the AirPods Pro, the AirPods Pro, including charging it now and then, will last 24 hours. So that's four times that, or at least three times that with active noise, can noise cancellation turned on. So that is just awesome. In other words, if you're looking for a pair of headphones, over-ear headphones that have reasonable active noise cancellation with a very good battery life and a good sound when you ask me, then it's definitely worth looking at the Rolfstone Focus. So this was my review of the Rolfstone Focus. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, consider liking and subscribing and see you in the next video.